key. Just grinding coffee is a great way to wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning and start your day at 10 o'clock in the morning. When your alarm was set at 7.30 and you're already grinding your coffee at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so it's keel building day. It's finally here. So that's where we're going. We're off to Foxes. Uh, when we get there, we're gonna put some stands underneath the boat, some extra support. So obviously we're gonna be knocking out the chocks from underneath the keel. So yeah, we'll just get on with that. Sailing S P Muffin is actually going on the sea for the first time. because um, we need to take the chops out from under the keel which is what's normally supporting the boat we've put these supports in which have very kindly been lent to us by the boatyard guys so that's just supporting the front and now the back of the keel as well and hopefully when we lock these out in just a moment the boat doesn't break so uh, this is the moment of truth Just getting the marine growth uh, <laughs> of the uh, bottom of the keel so we can make it a flat surface to draw our template or make our template. Okay, so um, down here we've got our planks um, that we're going to be layering up to make the keel. So they're two inch planks, we've worked out that we need eight of them piled on top of each other to make the keel. So we're looking for not avoidance, so there's two, these two planks you can see over to the side here, um, they're the most not free, so we'll be using them for the top, top couple and then the ones with lots of knots in obviously We'll be looking to put them either in the middle where we can sort of squidge them together nice and tightly or if we can avoid it, um, have them on the bottom. We're going to be using the circular saw just there um, to just cut the planks down to length. Simon's going to be then taking the planks that I cut, marking them out.
these are drawings for the original keel uh, of our of Pete's boat. And what I'm doing now is just drawing out on top of our first plank the shape of the bottom of the original keel, which this will be obviously the top of our new keel. Uh, and then what we're going to do is draw out the shape, cut round it, make it the same on all planks. table saw which just cuts in straight lines so that allows us to just chop off like big triangular sections like that you can just cut a nice straight face and that then gives us a nice easier workable shape which we can then attack with the jigsaw So uh, the moment has finally come to uh, stop procrastinating and actually just get on with it and drill with heel. If it goes wrong then it's, it's a mediumly big problem. So, we're giving up, because <laughs> it can even be done, so, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, really annoying, because we went to a lot of effort building the queue. So, uh, what's happened here is we've given up on drilling, and I just thought I'd whip the grinder out and have a look at what they've actually done to the keel. And um, they've, there's a layer of glass fibre and epoxy underneath the center plate if you just pass me the camera side. So you've got keel, centerboard in the middle and keel on the other side and there's glass fiber and epoxy either side. But what I've been doing here is just drilling up into it and it looks like they've got this weird black solid stuff either side of the keel. So what I'm now hoping is that if I cut this glass fiber out that the centerboard might just drop down. Trying to film here. <laughs> um, sorry about him. Um, so 
yeah, we, we, we've tried to clear out the gap between the between the keel and the. Um, oh, I can't remember <laughs> what I'm saying. Thanks for that, Simon. Now, now I'll explain it properly. Right, so basically, um, I had my old drill bits, which is what we were trying to use, but they're all like really blunt. So, and, and well, they were multi-use drill bits, but we've bought some metal specific drill bits. Uh, so we're gonna be drilling the keel with those. Um, I've spent literally a week trying to get the sense board down and it's not coming. So we're gonna go with that's not working. Episode one has a massive rant at everyone about wearing the right PPE. Episode two grinds bare steel with no eye protection and very bad gloves. Make sure you wear the right PPE, kids. So I finished grinding all the stuff off the bottom of the keel now. So we're down to the bare metal and this red stuff you can see here is red lead. They put it on um, iron surfaces, steel surfaces, to stop them oxidizing. Um, I'm not getting any further with the grinder, so I'm just starting to hit it with a sander now. Okay, so we've got blue roll, we've got acetone. It's time to do this thing. We're just gonna Give the whole bottom of the keel a good wipe down with a bit of acetone.
finish it. We're gonna paint it with epoxy. I've bought some fast hardener for the West Resin, which will mean that it should go off really quickly. We've been keeping this in front of fan heaters so that it's really, really warm, which should help thin it and make it go off quicker. Let's go. So, uh, we're using this color black wrap, which is basically like chlorophyte cling film. And uh, we're just wrapping the cradle in it. Hopefully this will mean we can put some fan heaters inside uh, and it will just contain all the heat. finished all the epoxy. Now there's uh, three layers of epoxy on the keel. Uh, we've just sanded it down with a really light grip uh, just by hand uh, and then after this we're just getting ready now to paint it with some underwater primer. We'll probably put three layers of that on. Um, I'm just sandpapering, is that a word sandpapering? Sandpapering um, the, the little spots on the keel or and where it's got back to bare fiberglass just while we have the underwater primer out we might as well uh, patch those bits up as well. Uh, so we've just painted the third coat of this underwater primer on. Um, you can see it's sort of shiny metallic colour um, but it's going off so quickly this is already quite dry and so we're just off to let it dry properly and then we'll be back soon to put some hard racing anti on. That's it. When I see ships like that, it really just makes me really want to get on the water so badly. <laughs> 